Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wiley Solution Walkthrough, Accounting Tools for Business Decision Making. This is the eighth edition, Problem 18 6. The textbook authors are Paul Kimmel, Jerry Weingan, and Jill Mitchell. The question used in the presentation is copyright 2022 by John Wiley and Sons. All rights are reserved. This is for educational purposes only. The video may not be distributed or redistributed without the express permission of Wiley. The solution presentation is copyright 2022 by Bennett Tchaikovsky. All rights are reserved. The opinions contained within this presentation are those of Bennett Tchaikovsky, not the authors of the textbook or of Wiley. Okay, now that we have all that fun stuff out of the way, before we thank the bus driver one last time for this chapter, uh, we have <sighs> Vigil has the following information after its first year of operations. Sales were 1.6 million, selling expenses 250, direct materials, direct labor, admin, uh, manufacturing overhead, uh, top management has asked you to prepare a CVP analysis so it can make plans for the coming years. It is projected that unit sales will increase by 10% next year. Okay, so compute the contribution margin for the current year and the projected year and the fixed cost for the current year and the projected year. Okay, so uh, unit selling price, variable costs, and fixed costs are estimated to remain unchanged. So let's go ahead and do it. So we have sales um, right over here. Okay, so we got sales, less variable costs. Okay, so for our variable costs over here, we're gonna have variable selling expenses. We're gonna have direct materials. Those are automatically variable direct labor, um, admin, variable admin, um, and variable uh, manufacturing overhead. Okay. Okay, so our contribution margin. And then we're going to have less our fixed costs and fixed selling, fixed admin, and fixed manufacturing overhead. Okay. So right over here, um, sales were, so we got per unit, our units, per unit total. Our total sales were 1.6 million. Okay, so it's 1.6 million over here, my units on 100,000. So my per unit is at $16 per unit. My variable costs over here. So again, if I sold a hundred thousand units, all of this over here, variable for direct materials, direct selling, it's all going to be at a hundred thousand. Okay. So my total cost over here for my variable selling expenses, this is going to be two hundred and fifty thousand times 0. 0.4, two fifty times 40% variable and 60% fixed. So we'll just go ahead and save ourselves a little bit of time. So our variable um, selling expenses are going to be 250,000 times 0.6 or 150. Okay, direct materials were 490,000. Okay, so on a per unit basis, this here is gonna be a buck. This here is going to be four dollars and ninety cents. Okay, for my direct labor, direct labor was two hundred and ninety thousand. So the direct labor is going to be two dollars and ninety cents per unit. Okay, my variable um, administrative expenses are going to be two hundred and seventy thousand at uh, twenty percent variable or 54 cents per unit. Okay, so that means over here that my fixed, my fixed uh, administrative expenses are 80% times 270. So again, the 216.54 gives us the total amount of uh, fixed administration costs. Over here, manufacturing overhead. So this is gonna be 380,000 times 0.7 or this is going to be roughly $2.66 per cents per unit. Okay. 
And so then over here, but with the manufacturing overhead, 70% is variable and then 30% is fixed. So this is going to be 380,000 times 0.3, or this is going to be 114,000. So my total uh, fixed costs going to be, and I'm just going to move these over here. Four hundred eighty thousand. Okay, my total variable costs over here. Well, let's do it anyways. Okay, here you go. My total variable costs per unit are going to be a dollar plus four ninety plus two ninety plus fifty four plus two sixty six, or twelve bucks per unit. Over here, in terms of the total costs, this is 100,000, 100, 490, 290, 54, and then 266, which again makes sense. 100,000 times 12 is 1.2 million. So my contribution margin is going to be over here at four bucks per unit for a total of 400,000, which is the same thing as saying 1.6 million minus 1.2 million. Okay, so my total fixed costs are 480. So I'm operating at a net loss over here of $80,000. Okay, so let's kind of see what they said, if there's any way we can go through and check it out. Um, let's see here. Just gonna pause real quick. Okay, so compute the contribution margin for the current year. So the contribution margin for the current year is going to be at $4 per month, or excuse me, $4 per unit um, sold. Okay, so over here, and then for the projected year, let's see what it would be for the projected year. So um, top manager has asked, and so makes plan for the project that unit sales will increase by 10% next year. Okay, so if this is the current year over here, my projected so this is going to be 110,000 yikes hold on Okay, so if my sales are increasing by 10%, okay, so this is basically going to make it, I'm basically now running at a loss. I'm still running at a loss, but it's like a little bit less. It's basically by, by 40 grand instead of 80,000. Okay, so my contribution margin uh, right over here. So my contribution margin for the current year and the projected year is not changing. If the sales increase, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. The fixed costs for the current year and the projected year, well, the fixed costs are going to remain the same at $480,000. Uh, the unit selling price, unit variable cost, so this is at 16 variable costs. And then over here, the variable manufacturing costs are 12. So um, compute uh, the break-even point in sales units for the current year. So I think this gave us the answer, but we're going to go ahead and do this anyways. Okay, so the break-even point is going to be our fixed costs. We're going to take 480,000. Again, I have this on the ratios, but we'll just kind of go through this a little bit more uh, quickly so that I can get over here my contribution margin per unit. This is going to be a four bucks, right? So what this means is I'm going to have to go through in order to break even. I'm going to have to basically go through and sell 120,000 units. Um, if I turn this in over here to 120,000 units, um, hold on. all of a sudden now I'm breaking even, so we know that that actually works. Okay, so break even point in sales dollars, sales units and sales dollars would be 120,000. Um, on. 
I screwed that up. Hold on for a second. Okay, for some reason, I didn't pick up a formula, but actually it still works anyway. So um, if I put 120,000 here, right, I'm base, I'm reaching break even. Okay, so if I did the 10% sales increase, if my sales would now be a million seven sixty, I'm still at a loss of forty thousand. Okay, the company has a target net income of one hundred and forty-five thousand. What will the required sales dollars be for the company to go through and to meet its target? Okay, so when we look at any kind of a target net income, what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and add this to the fixed costs. So our fixed costs are now, instead of being 480, this is going to basically be 480,000 plus 145,000 or 625,000. My contribution margin per unit is still going to be the same at four bucks per unit, but now I'm going to have to sell 156,250 units. Let's see how this works. So if I do 156, 250, um, what ends up happening here is I get like a net income now of 145. So I know that that works. So again, if you're asked for any kind of like, if you have a target net income, just treat it like another fixed cost. And then that'll get you where you need to go. Okay. If the company meets its target net income, number what percentage of its sales fall before it's operating? What percentage could its sales fall before it's operating at a loss? That is, what is the margin of safety ratio? Ugh. Well, if if we were saying over here that we need to have 120,000 units, yeah, I'm not going to do that one. So again, if you want me to do it for you, put a comment and I'll make a separate video for it. But uh, I don't like the margin of safety, not at least for my class. So that's going to go away. In any event, I want to thank Wiley today for allowing me to use their uh, questions. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, if you'd like to see any other solutions, please feel free to ask for them in the comments. Have a great rest of your day. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a good one.